Hi Capricorn, this is your monthly reading for the month of January 2020. Happy New Year to you Capricorn. Let me draw your four cards now. Okay. Ace of Swords, very nice. Ten of Cups. Even nice. <laughs> King of Swords. <laughs> Ten of Coins. Two tens, eh? With Ace. New beginning and accomplishment. Are you putting a dot? Seven of Swords. It's influencing energy. Energy that influenced this month. got out of something that you really didn't want and you managed to get out quietly not waving too much you're happy about it you're really happy this is a your source situation was very unpleasant you didn't want to be there wolf situation you just wanted to you know take your stuff run away so you know you finish some some situation people whatever there was that you didn't like you being there it's all right bye bye you know looking for excuse and Ace of Swords now. First, first, um, this, this this is really a uh, um, lovely Ace. I love this Ace of Swords. Promising, truthful situation, uh, new beginning, proper one uh, um, that will really bring success. It will really bring success. This Ten of Cups with the rainbow here. It's a promising that that what you started it will meet bright future bright future with king of swords energy of a solid stable guy energy of libra uh, um gemini or or um what is another one aquarius but could be yours as well i kind of king of swords i also see it very much as a capricorn energy And Ten of Pentacles, end of the month. It's a family situation here. It could very well be because of these two tens. It could be that this family situation that you're completing something. Money related, inheritance, um, could very well be. But this, uh, this, is, see, this, is, this month is month of completion. You've got new ideas. But you're gonna complete something here. You definitely. This is very logical guy. This is your logic, this is your mind, uh, that's your thinking, that you how you're gonna proceed logically, clever, uh, um, you will communicate in that kind of manner with logic. And uh, um, I think it's all happening within the family kind of because of this too, but it's completion, you're completing something, you're completing something, are you moving from one place to another, perhaps, maybe, but you are completing something, completion, I think I like this first and second week, if you're working on something new, if you are working on something new, you've got new idea and you're working on it, you will be perhaps complete that first stage that will promise much brighter future. This will promise much brighter future. It could be that, you know, this, all of these four cards could be very independent. Yo, I love it. It's your Capricorn. You are, this is your time. <laughs> it's your time. Queen of Swords. Nice couple here. Now we have this couple. Yes, business. Yeah, you are all business. And the stalemate here. Finishing something you finish, something you don't know what to do with. That's your family, that's your friends, group of people, uh, lump sum amount of money that you have. That you are thinking how to proceed. Influencing energy, the tower and the seven of swords. You just got out of this. You know, it's... Uh, crown is a fallen of the king's head of this tower but you just got out of this it's a situation when you felt oppressed 
oppressed. Lonely, oppressed, you didn't like it, you wanted this, this over, you wanted this over. It surprised you, it did surprise you, this situation surprised you, but it seems to me that you worked on it. You worked on it to, to kind of, you, uh, you dug the hole underneath these foundations and then you suddenly, you, it's uh, broken, it's uh, falling apart. I think you were digging a <laughs> hole underneath, yeah, you want it out, you want it out. So, because you've got some new ideas, you've got something new in your mind and you're going forward with it and you feel full rights. And it's promising such a uh, um, lovely uh, future and accomplishment. This uh, Queen of Swords with Ten of Cups, it says you will execute. And this King with uh, um, Three of, of uh, Roads could very well be that you're planning something overseas. You're planning to do something overseas. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to set your business there. Something is there that you're going to leave the place where you are right now. The city, house, and you're going to move it, move out to move somewhere else with big plans about your business, everything like your business, your, your, your home. You want to move everything there. Like you're going to relocate completely overseas. With your family, you know, the, the, uh, all together. This is fork on the road. Yes, you have to decide about your family. Are you staying or are you moving? I think you are moving. You, you're planning. You finish with this. You wanted to go out. I'm definitely seeing that you're relocating. And you, you, you have eyes on a foreign country, on a foreign land. Capricorn, you would like to, or you would like to change, um, it is perhaps the business that you're in uh, for quite a while, for a long time, now something else is coming, you don't want to be there, you have too long, you know, it is the business where you feel like being with a family, like working with somebody for a very long time, and nobody's actually, actually expecting you to leave the company, but like you, you inventory down there, <laughs> you Nobody expecting you to leave. You're important for that business, and and you kind of um, kind of co found that there or you know, of some major importance. You know, you you kind of stick with that business, kind of part of it. But with this new idea, you just wanted it. You wanted to 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 leave. You wanna move from one place to another, whatever that is, place of work, place of uh, uh, um, residence. Um, you are moving from one place to another. You are in overseas place or uh, something which is not in your city, something which is a bit further than, uh, than your nearest surrounding. That's what you've got right now. Fork on the road. Yes, you will You will make decision. You will, by the end of the month, I think you will be making decision. This is completion. You have to complete everything before actually you move on with this one. I think you've got on your mind something like that major change in your business life, family life. You change, um, in a sense, in a relocating. You are. I see a relocation here. Not being in the same place again, starting something very new, brand new, very prosperous. This is promising or something truly uh, prosperous. Abundance. It's. It, it's promising or really something uh, promising really something nice something good for you wealth money prosperity stability you thinking of it very logically this is logic logic seriously thinking of it but it, because it, it is a major move you have to complete you completing you have to put a dot on everything you're not gonna just read just like that you're gonna put the dot on everything that you have started but then I think you will move on on something new something completely new change new endeavor you might be just a new business it's just you're going to start business on your own. You've been working for somebody for many years now. You just decided, no, I'm starting with my own. And you're going to do it on your own. Whatever it is, yeah. But uh, 
It's not bad. It's nice. Anyway, enjoy your January Capricorn. <laughs>